Hello and welcome to another timeless gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at another storm combo deck, but instead of relying on the graveyard and underworld breach, we're gonna get there through Besiege the Mirror. This 4 mana sorcery has bargain, so we want to sacrifice an artifact in this deck to enable it, and then a search for library for any card, exile it face down, and then if that card has mana value 4 or less, we get to cast it for free. And the one card we typically want to find is our one of Song of Creation, an enchantment saying we get to play an additional land each turn and whenever we cast any spell we draw two cards of course there's a pretty huge drawback at the beginning of our end step we have to discard our hand but usually we're planning to win the game the same turn we beseech for song of creation since our deck is filled with free spells that will draw us two cards and then we can eventually generate additional mana using a dark ritual which for one black adds triple black and then we also have an offer you can't refuse a single blue instant countering target non-creature spell it's controlled controller creates two treasure tokens, so while we can use this to counter opposing spells, it's mostly here to counter our own spell, so we get to make two treasure tokens, so one blue mana turning into two treasures still nets us one mana, and the goal is to eventually build up four mana after having our Song of Creation in play, and then either cast Besiege to get Tendrils or hard cast Tendrils if we've drawn it in the meantime, and then storm the opponent to death with all the life loss triggers, since we'll have cast plenty of spells in that turn. So that's kind of our game plan in a nutshell. To make sure things work smoothly, we also need a little bit of removal, since this will need to take care of Orcish Bowmasters, among other creatures, that will punish us for drawing extra cards, otherwise our opponent will end up killing us before we cast our Tendrils. And then we've got our free spells, including Mishra's Bobble, which is also quite synergistic with our fetch lands, as we can bobble ourselves, and if the top card is good, we can draw it, if not, we can fetch and hopefully draw something better. And it's also a free spell we can cast with Song of Creation in play to draw two, and it's an artifact we can sacrifice to bargain to combo off with Besiege the Mirror. And then there's Ornithopter as a creature. Now a creature we cannot counter with our own an offer you can't refuse, but the upside of a creature is that it can chum block, especially when paired with Deadly Dispute. We can maybe block an opposing creature, sacrifice Ornithopter, draw two and create a treasure token, so we have a bit more mana on the turn we combo off. And then there's Tormod Script, which can also occasionally exile the opponent's graveyard, which can be useful against other graveyard combo decks. And then two copies of Astral Cornucopia, which we can also cast for X equals 1 just to make a little bit of extra mana. Can also be a way of maybe hard casting a Song of Creation if we don't get there through Besiege the Mirror. But usually we're casting Cornucopia for X equals 0 and maybe countering it with our own offer you can't refuse. And then the reason why I also have one chromatic star is that sometimes you do end up in situations where you only have one land left and you need that land to produce black mana for dark ritual so you can start making more mana. But if you're maybe out of dark rituals in the deck, then having a chromatic star to filter black mana into blue mana to then still cast an offer you can't refuse and build up more treasures is pretty important. Occasionally this can also be used to make colored mana for Song of Creation to hard cast it, so I found the one-off chromatic star pretty useful, and it's also fine to sacrifice to a deadly dispute as we'll still draw the card when chromatic star ends up in our graveyard. And then besides Deadly Dispute drawing two, we also have a Brainstorm to draw three and then put two cards from our hands back on top of our deck in any order. So this is especially powerful with our fetch lands. Want to Brainstorm and then afterwards sacrifice a fetch land to shuffle away two cards that we don't necessarily want to draw. Especially the case if we draw our Song of Creation or Tendrils, which are cards we just want to have in our deck but not necessarily in our hand. And then we also have a one-off Demonic Tutor, which is restricted, but is a nice way to help find our Besiege. Or if we already have Besiege, maybe get a Dark Ritual to build up our mana in the turn we try to combo off. And then a mana base needs plenty of fetch lands to enable a brainstorm and to make our Mishra's Bauble a bit better. And then we've got three watery graves and then plenty of basics to play around Blood Moon. And so we don't necessarily have to take a bunch of damage to get our mana online. Since of course once we play Song of Creation we do have an extra land drop available. So that extra mana can also come in handy. Now we could potentially also consider playing one Overgrown Tomb or Blood Crypt. Just to have a black land that also helps cast Song of Creation. Which we can still maybe manage through treasure tokens or astral cornucopia fixing our colors but again it's not really our primary game plan and we can always get rid of it with brainstorm if it's stuck in our hand so yeah that's our deck now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does okay we're on the draw with a keepable hand just looking for beseech 
opponent with a once upon a time point towards the Titan ramp deck, which should be a winnable matchup. So we can start by bobbling ourselves. And if there's a good card on top, we don't need to fetch. Bloodstained Mire is okay. I'll still need a third land. I can maybe brainstorm. And then just shuffle one card away. There's Beseech, perfect. So, can uh, I guess draw the lands and then shuffle away an offer you can't refuse. I suppose this could still counter a natural order, which maybe makes a difference. I probably should have put the tendrils back, since we don't really need it until we're already winning. But uh, that's fine. So for now, just pass. And then next turn, I think we go for it. Double Dark Ritual, Ornithopter, Beseech. I guess if we can save a Dark Ritual until after, we get our enchantment in plates even better. And then an Offer We Can't Refuse will combine with any zero mana non-creature spell. So don't necessarily need to draw Island. Take our turn, and a Tormod script is perfect, so I think we've got it all rolled up now. Can fetch for Swamp. And Dark Ritual. Ornithopter into Beseech. With Bargain. Find our Song of Creation. And then step one is going to be Tormod Script plus an offer you can't refuse. Still get to play an extra land for turn. Got a Dark Ritual already, so just need to string together some cheap spells. And another Dark Ritual will do. There's another one, so could dispute sacking treasure. Cast a few of these for free. And we can track our storm count here already more than enough. So we'll finish it off with a couple more rituals. And that's a turn 3 kill. It helps when you draw a Dark Ritual. And then our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. And uh, yeah, our hand's keepable. Hopefully nothing bad happens to our Beseech. I'll use Bobble now before they can mess things up with the Bowmasters. And then play Island in case we need to cast a Brainstorm here. Find another Bobble. And a Thoughtsea sadly can take our Beseech. Okay, so we'll need to find another one. Well, there it is. So we'll bobble again. That way we'll draw before they can flash in Bowmasters. Opponent's got their own Beseech. Alright, so... Got a bit of a mirror match. Pun intended. If we can't hit our land drops, we might be in trouble. And Dark Ritual. Okay. Well, I guess we could just go for it now. While we've got a bit of a window of opportunity. A ritual. Beseech, Sacking Ornithopter, keep the non-creature spells in hand. And then we still have a land drop left to maybe cast an offer you can't refuse. Seems worthwhile. Okay. 
We'll get to draw six cards here, basically. Potent fetching. For a tap stomping ground. Alright, got a few more redraws. There's our land. Ideally, we can um, end up casting an offer you can't refuse to start getting ahead of mana again, so we can build up our mana for tendrils. So we'll go for Bobble. And there we go. So now we can cast Tormod Script, hold full control, offer you can't refuse. And that's plus one mana. Can do it again. Eventually need to find Dark Ritual. There it is. And then another Besiege could do it. There's tendrils in hand, so don't even need to search it up. Since there's always the risk of drawing into it while casting Besiege, and that can kind of throw us off. But uh, yeah, storm count is high enough. We'll just go for Ritual into tendrils. Chromatic Star also potentially a way to filter black mana into blue mana. But that'll do it. And our opponent explodes. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and yeah, this hand's promising. Might actually want to keep the bauble as something we sack to bargain. Opponent with Gigantha's Companions, if it's a domain deck. The main interaction we're worried about is Stubborn Denial. So... Yeah, I think we... Just play a tap line and pass. Temple Garden, Wild Nacoddle. And another Besiege. So, probably worth it to wait another turn. And then next turn we can go a Ritual, Bobble, Sack to Bargain. Ritual again afterwards, draw to, and hopefully string together some more spells. But the extra land seems useful. Although it could technically already go for it here. Steam vents. Take three. And a Kavu, so... Yeah, I think I should go for it before they can Stubborn Denial with Ferocious enabled. So, yeah, let's go for it. Ritual. And bargain the bobble. And get Song of Creation. And then we need a bit of luck here to combo off. Can't really afford to brainstorm, can I? I guess if I find a land with five draw steps. We can then Dark Ritual and keep going. It's maybe still worth it. Alright, found a land. So we can shuffle away another Besiege and a Deadly Dispute. Can get Watery Grave, but I can maybe bobble first, see if we find something else. Because I might want a blue mana for an offer you can't refuse.
I think it's time for Dark Ritual now. Good deadly disputes aplenty. Can always just push the opponent's creatures. And just need to find tendrils now to close it out. Keep Thormod script again in case we can cast Offer You Can't Refuse, which we haven't drawn yet. But that's plus one mana. There we go. And there's a Beseech. Storm count is probably high enough by now. But uh, let's do this properly. So Thormod scripts, full control. Counter with Offer You Can't Refuse. Draw four cards and make two treasures. Alright, and then uh, go for a Cornucopia, x equals zero. And there's another offer you can't refuse. Alright, I guess we'll Beseech and then hope we don't draw the Tendrils. Because that would be a little awkward. And then we'll just Tendrils for the win. A bit of damage to spare. And then our opponent explodes. Turn 3 kill. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. Facing Halurus as companion. So we may need Fatal Push for Bowmasters. Which can otherwise shut down our combo. This hand's borderline, but Brainstorm helps smooth things out. And it looks like we're up against a black-red burn deck. Alright, so this is just a race. Possible they have Bowmasters, not a guarantee. Alright, we drew the island so we can cast the Brainstorm with it. Okay, maybe chump with Ornithopter and sack it to a deadly dispute at some point. More baubles. Can also use Brainstorm to hide Beseech from a discard spell, although I don't expect one here. Oof, Eidolon. Yeah, Eidolon also shuts down our combo, so we need to find Fatal Push. And that's no fatal push, so yeah, we're pretty dead now. Can uh, fetch away maybe one offer you can't refuse, but yeah, unless we find a fatal push for Eidolon, our combo is not going anywhere. So take two. Fetch down to 15. Another brainstorm. Well, if I cast it now and our opponent's got a Bowmasters, we're gonna be sad, so I probably have to just play it slow and then hope to draw into Fatal Push. Uh, play with fire. Can't let them scry. And then brainstorm. And that's still no fatal push, so probably a lights out now. Another play with fire. So I'll fetch down to eight, take another four. So even if they have just one burn spell, that's game over. 
before we can even cast the Fatal Push. Yeah, Eidolon's pretty good against this. And our opponent's deck presents a pretty fast clock. A Reckon Raid. And that's one more damage. We also haven't found any Dark Rituals, so even without an Eidolon, we're not necessarily comboing off here. And a Lightning Bolt means we can't fetch. And if we can't fetch, we just uh, lose to our own cards here, so... Yeah, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand's got a bit of removal. Can sack Ornithopter to Deadly Dispute to draw. So it's not great, but we have a lot of interaction, so... There are matchups where I don't mind double Fatal Push. Let's hope it's one of them where... It's actually gonna be useful. Beseech is a good draw. So for now, I guess I do want to keep a push if possible. But I don't want to waste my fetch lands. Now if I were to draw Brainstorm, I might regret not playing Watery Grave untapped. Alright, opponent's got the Dark Ritual for Shieldreds. Okay. So we've got Fatal Push with Revolt from the fetch land. To take it out. So now... Probably just do that for the turn. And then next turn we can Deadly Dispute Ornithopter. Opponent with Lands Pass. Okay, so Ornithopter keep up Dispute. And then we can respond to a Bowmasters. Still have a Fatal Push for it too. And they do seem to be holding something. Opponent is not going to respond yet. Of course, Shieldred also prevents us from comboing, so this Fatal Push is very valuable. Possible we can combo off next turn, especially if they run out Shieldred right now. So, step one, I guess, is to fetch a land to thin out the deck a little bit. Push Shieldred. And then we get to untap. Sack the Crypt or Bobble to Beseech and get things going. Okay. Guess I'll just Watery Grave here. So we've got a few redraws, and then an extra line I can play. I'll thin out the deck right away. Just get a watery grave since the game's going to be over this turn if all goes to plan. Okay, so I'm going to have to offer you Can't Refuse my own Chromatic Star, it seems. Just to keep the ball rolling. I guess I'll see what I draw first. Yeah, it would have worked out better had I countered the bauble instead. But that's okay. Alright, so next Dark Ritual. And then... What's our storm count? I've cast one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't think we're quite there yet if I besiege for tendrils. So I think I need to keep going. So I do need to make one more mana now. Keep the non creature spell for an offer you can't refuse, and now we should be in the clear. Uh, 
Okay, so... Opponent has seen enough, but uh, Besiege for Tendrils. If we get unlucky and draw the Tendrils with a draw to from Song of Creation, then what happens? I guess we would probably get a Dark Ritual to make a little bit more mana, and then uh, we'll figure out a way to just cast the Tendrils from hand, which might require finding another Ritual or Offer You Can't Refuse. So that's where things can get a little dicey, but uh, we had plenty more Dark Rituals in the deck. Sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play, facing a Lurus deck, and our hand is not perfect, but uh, keepable. We'll use Brainstorm to hide the Song of Creation and fetch it away. For now, just play Fetch Land and Pass. And then I'll wait until turn two to uh, Brainstorm and then fetch, so we can shuffle two cards back. Although for opponent cast a Hand Disruption spell, I would have to brainstorm now. Okay, so get Watery Grave, Fatal Push Ragavan. Well, I could also keep Push to answer Bowmasters, which your opponent's likely to have, and that actually prevents me from comboing. Ragavan still kind of scary, could exile some of my key cards. And just slows the opponent down a little bit. Alright, so I don't need to brainstorm now unless I'm afraid of a Bowmasters. I guess I'll be patient. Alright, this looks like a Bowmasters, so I can brainstorm. The Siege is good. I can just play this tapped and pass. Yeah, Bowmasters is going to be a problem. We need to find another Fatal Push pretty much. Opponent does nothing, so they're being patient as well. And a Stitcher Supplier. That resolves. So they're on the Underworld Breach combo. And they're going to keep up Bowmasters. Well, at least we're hitting our land drops. Alright, so it's time to respond. And then Song of Creation definitely goes. And maybe a bobble at this point. And then we can fetch and brainstorm again. And we haven't found an answer to the Bowmasters yet, so that's a bit of an issue. I think I do want to hide the Besiege. And then we'll end up shuffling one Ornithopter away. So we'll draw the Besiege and then shuffle afterwards. In case our opponent's got a Thought Seize here. So our hand's not very good. Opponent shooting their own Supplier to mill more cards. So they probably already have a Underworld Breach in hand. And uh, yeah, they could already combo off themselves. And there's a Dark Ritual, so it looks like a combo turn. Tutor for Underworld Breach, cast a Breach, string together some Tutors, take it from there. And let's see what happens. They might have already done the math. They can cast a few rituals, supplier is an extra storm count. And they only need eight copies of uh, tendrils to win the game. I guess even seven since they can also attack. Maybe should have run out uh, Ornithopter earlier, just as a blocker. Diabolic Intent, Sack Supplier. Another Dark Ritual. So yeah, I think the Storm Count's probably high enough now already. They're at 8, so they can just cast the Tendrils and win the game. Alright, GG's. 
they managed to do it a turn sooner. If we didn't have to play around Bowmasters, we could have cast uh, Brainstorms more aggressively, but turns out we didn't actually draw anything useful. Opponent even double-checking that the coast is clear with the Thoughtseize, which is why we hit the Besiege while we had the chance. But we need to push the Bowmasters before we can even attempt to combo off. And four cars and graveyard, so just enough for tendrils here. Alright, GG's. Can click on my profile. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. We've done it to our opponents a few times before. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with what looks like a solid hand. Tutor can get Beseech, Brainstorm for a bit more card selection. Could wait until turn 2 to cast it, since we don't have a Deadly Dispute that we need to cast on turn 2. Can also use it to maybe hide some cards from a discard spell. But if I wait until next turn I can fetch away 2 cards I don't need. Although at the moment all my cards are fine. Opponent with her own Watery Grave. Just take my turn. Can a bobble myself if I see a card I like, then I guess what does that change? Because if there's a card I don't like, I would want to fetch first, but that kind of undoes the brainstorm. So I guess I may as well bobble my opponents. Could also tutor for besiege, but then my fetch lands isn't uh, used alongside brainstorm properly. So this might give us a bit more information. Narcomiba I see opponent on the dredge deck. So we don't need to fear any interaction. So that's comforting to know. But uh, yeah, opponent's going to present a pretty fast clock. Probably holding a, a gaze to surveil a few cards in the graveyard. We know they're going to hit Narcomiba. So there might be a consideration for playing Ornithopter as a blocker. Now probably don't need Bobble. I don't think I need Fatal Push since we're not afraid of Bowmasters. Can shuffle those away and then cast another Brainstorm. Although I can maybe wait until next turn to cast it. And then use Tutor as a shuffle effect. Alright, I think I've made up my mind. I'll keep Ornithopter for the turn we combo off as an extra draw too. So, end of turn, surveil, and uh, yeah, if our opponent's got a turn to glimpse, they could do some serious damage. For now, just an Archimiba, and they kept the card on top, so it's gonna be a good one. Alright, there's a Besiege, that's what we needed. So now I could shoot her for another Dark Ritual, perhaps. Opponent's got Founding into glimpse, is my guess. Yep, so what's the damage? Creeping chill. And that's it, so could have been worse. So I should have another turn here to set up the combo. And I think that means Brainstorm plus Demonic Tutor. Get another Dark Ritual. And then we should be pretty safe to combo off. Don't need Fatal Push, don't need one of the fetch lands, we'll likely draw another land along the way. Bobble at least another draw too. Okay. And get our Dark Ritual. And pass it back. I guess I could play Ornithopter since I'm gonna sacrifice it to bargain next turn. So it saves me one damage. So our opponent needs to get pretty lucky to deal 12 damage. They would need all four creeping chills to end up in the graveyard. And I guess they've already exiled one, so I don't see that happening.
I guess they could have tried to mill me, which would have been an interesting twist. Hope to mill my win conditions, but our opponent doesn't really know what's happening, so... They did hit another Creeping Chill, down to 6. Opponent at 27, so we do need a pretty high storm count to win. But uh, usually not a concern. Bloodgast also has haste, so I guess with hasty Bloodgasts, they uh, didn't need all those Creeping Chills necessarily. Alright, so we're at 4. can still fetch and shock. But it's go time. So, Beseech, after casting a first Dark Ritual. And then we should be good to go. Got plenty of card draw. Can count our own bobble. Start with a Ritual. And then I'll fetch for Swamp to thin out the deck a little bit more. Go full control. Bobble draw two. Counter draw two. And get some treasure. Already have another Beseech. But we need to cast a few more spells first. So dispute sacking treasure. Another ritual's nice. Maybe start with the ritual. And then we can counter the cornucopia with an offer. Still about half of our deck remaining. So I want to increase my storm count a little bit more. Alright, that should probably do it. 18 cards left. Now what if we randomly draw the uh, Tendrils of Beseech, then we'll just get Dark Ritual and then we can cast it, so that's not a problem. And Tendrils with a Storm Count of 16. It's gonna be more than enough. Alright, so that uh, early bobble informing us about Narcomoeba was actually quite useful, since that meant we could get rid of the Fatal Push, and we didn't need to worry about Bowmasters. Yeah, I think this matchup is quite winnable, but uh, if the Dredge deck gets a nice turn 2 glimpse, they can potentially present lethal on turn 3 already if they get lucky. Turn 4, I think, is probably the more average point where they would be attacking for lethal, and our deck is capable of winning on turn 4, as well as sometimes even a turn sooner. Alright, so we get to see our Besiege combo deck in action, and the deck's quite impressive when it gets to go off thanks to an early Dark Ritual setting things up. On the flip side, it also has a few weaknesses. The Orcish Bowmasters being a must-answer threat for our deck makes it a lot harder to combo than, let's say, the Underworld Breach deck, which doesn't really care about the Bowmasters in play. And then there's also the Eidolon of the Great Revel, that's another must-answer. Same with the occasional Shieldred. So that's definitely one of the disadvantages of Besiege combo, but on the flip side at least our deck doesn't rely on the graveyard compared to Underworld Breach, which needs the graveyard to operate, so it's a bit of a give and take, but overall I would still give it to the Underworld Breach combo as the more consistent and competitive deck, but if you just want to draw a lot of cards, then this might still be the preferred choice. So that'll do it for today's gameplay, want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day!